I may be gonna jump this super easy, so maybe I'm gonna go way too far. But maybe yeah. if I case the end of this wood, I'm gonna die. You know? Yeah, so that's worse. Casing the wood is way worse. What are the options? <laughs> yeah. This is this is what I I thought going into it, and I was like, before my last try, I was like, in the end, I prefer gap it a little bit more than case. So I went for the first go, and I went, let's say, ninety percent speed, and I. Like Laurent would have say go 70 and I was like, yeah, I will go 70 and I went 90% because I just got scared to K. So I was like going in and obviously I went too far and I was a bit sideways because just the, the first uh, roll on the way up to jump made me go a little bit like that. So I was like not feeling so good and it's so scary. It was so scary to me because you don't see the landing. So you go up the lip and there is this plate of wood. And this is only what you do. So it feels like a boner log for us. But then there is the this wall flat thing. And you just go and you don't know where is the landing until you're like over this and you can start spotting it, you know. But when you're there, it's too late to do anything. You just either do it or not. And uh, I crashed the first, um, the first try then because I went way too far. I hurt my, my hand a little bit. I got it checked and um, like strapped. And I had two laps before the final. So after this, after this try. So then I was like, okay, I did it. I crashed, but I kind of know the speed now. And I had one more trick to do. It was the double flip. I had um, on the first double in the run. So he put the, the strap to my hand. I tried one. I stopped after the two doubles. I went back up and they said, um, this is your last run. And then we start the show. So then I went, I did my first double flip because I didn't do it yet. I landed perfect. I was like, okay, this is the good, like, this is going to be a good day. You know, like this is every settings of my runs are done. I crashed. I'm a bit in pain, but I can do it. Now I, I know where I'm going. So after that, I was feeling so, so great. I feel, I feel like if I didn't do the double flip just before my run, it would be a different draw right for me really the fact that i was feeling a bit of pain and when did my last trick for my run made me made me feel so good that i just think let's go you know this is draw right this is the moment we wait all year like this is what i live for like those people are here the hype is insane there is not even one second of being scared when you drop, you know, before you drop for sure, this is always the same feeling. But when I drop in, I started with a manual. So I was like <laughs> super stressed about it because uh, you can miss a manual so easily. I was like, okay, let's do it. And then I did it. I missed one trick in my run because I land actually my first double flip um, a bit too far. And I was like doing bar to tuck ex instead of a cash roll on the next jump. So I was thinking, my run will be scored not that good. And I was like, okay, I don't care. This is joyride. ride. There's no way to give up, you know, like I missed one trick, but I'm, I didn't crash. So I can probably have a proper, I mean, an okay score in the end. So I just keep it going. I did all the tricks. I went down there and I was like, okay, this is now, you know, like this is not going to be the best run ever. But if I jump this and I land it, I'd be already super happy. And I did it and pedal and went way too far, but landed it. And um, when I saw like all the reactions from the people, I was like shocked. You know, I was like, wow, this is uh... so this is talking to people as much as I thought it would, you know, like I just I just wanted to do it for myself. But I didn't know if people are going to react to this. Maybe they're going to just think I jumped like just a jump and they're going to not understand why I didn't do a trick or something. So I was like, I don't know how the judge are going to judge this, how the people are going to think how sick it is or not, you know? And um, I saw a lot of uh, super sick reactions and so much people came to me before the second run. They were like, wow, this is insane, blah, blah, blah. And I knew I could do better in my second run because of one of the jumps. So I was, I was uh switch off my brain mode and I was just like, like I knew everything, you know, for once I was dropping with no pressure because I was maybe fifth or fourth before second run. 
So my mission, everything was already done. Yeah. The, um, the, the best thing I could do is go on the podium, but I, I was not even thinking I could do it. I was like, I just try to do everything I, I can do best on this run and we'll see, you know? And I started with no pressure and I changed my first trick randomly, pretty much. I was like going into it and I was like manually and I was like, I'm going to change this uh, upgrade kind of this trick because I did manual bar for so long. I mean, for a few times. So I was like, this time I'm going to do tuck. And I did the tuck and I didn't do one manual tuck in Whistler before this run. And as soon as I landed it, I was like, okay, this is the run, you know, like this is going to happen. I'm going to do everything. And then I got like, I just rode with fun. I did like all the tricks, like I, I controlled everything. I was not like super confident, you know, I was just like enjoying the moment. And I was just thinking I can't crash because I have to go again there and jump this, you know, I wanted to jump it clear. To be honest, if I had another try, like a last try, maybe I was going to try something on it. I needed one more try if I what, wanted like to do tuck. Could you tuck like a trick. A yeah. A tuck or a bar spin or you can you can always think about a crazier thing so it's it depends on Crazy. what your brain tells you this day it you know but so insane i was like side yeah. view from the glc and <laughs> i looked at your speed yeah. check and i was like this guy is gonna jump this thing no yeah. way we're looking at everyone he's gonna jump it no he's not gonna jump it and then we're all gonna <laughs> a lot of people told up. it to me also, some people came to me the week of Joyride and they were like, hey, we were thinking someone will jump this thing. And in this discussion, we only thought you can do it. And I was like, not telling them nothing really. Like I was like, <laughs> yeah, I think it's possible too. And I was like, those people think about it and they came to say it to me. And I'm thinking about this since the first day. So it has to, crazy. to be a try, you know, like I have to give it a try. And I was almost ready to to break my legs on this because on the first go, like I was on the Bonner log landing and I was like, I can break my legs when I'm landing maybe five meters too far because I don't know where I'm going to land right now. I have yeah. no clue what's going to happen. And I was like, I'm, I'm ready to handle it. Like this is Joride. If I, if I'm getting injured here right now, this is like, this is why I'm here for, you know, like, I can, I will accept it. And I was like, okay, let's go. And I just tried to hold on as much as I could and be like, let's see. And I saw, as soon as I went out of this, I was like, okay, I'm already there. And the landing was maybe here. And I was like, I'm for sure going to gap so much. And um, after I crashed, I was like, now I know I can't go longer. I'm just going to go a little bit slower. So it has to be just better in the end. Like the landing has to be better. So, yeah, it just made me more motivated to do it in the end. It was sick. It was a sick moment in my life. Like, it was like I won something more than the full run. You know, when I landed it, my my full body, my brain was like happier than any other competition I did before. And I didn't even know what was going to be my spot on the ranking. I was just like, I did it, you know. So it felt it felt like different. It felt good. 